the definition of curvature is uh, given we're going to use the letter K another K but that's the commonality so here's, here comes the definition the definition of the curvature K is the uh, is dt ds and since dt ds is the uh, is a vector then we'll take the magnitude so the curvature is a scalar dt ds is a vector and do you remember what's the t with uppercase stand for the unit tangent vector um, so, so this is the rate of change, the ROC, or rate of change, of, actually it's the magnitude of the rate of change. So here with the with respect to the arc length S. Okay. So we need a little uh, reminder what is the unit the tangent vector? Uh, recall the definition of T because we're gonna use it. Anybody remember what's the definition of T? Very good. R prime of T over the magnitude of R prime of T. Okay. Today we're going to talk about two more important vectors uh, to uh, the normal and the binormal, not binormal uh, vector N and vector B such that the, these uh, triple vectors, T, T and B, uh, will help us define curves. Uh, and you'll see it in, in the homework as well. I'm not going to talk much about it, but you'll work much about it. Okay? Um, what we do now, we use the chain rule to express K in terms of T. Okay, so dt, dt, which is funny way to say it, is by the chain rule it will be dt ds times ds dt. So if this is the uh, the the result of the chain rule, what we are after? We after this is the definition. So we are looking for the magnitude of the first term. How we accomplish that? Well, we accomplish it by dividing this the, this term dt dt by ds dt. So we're going to say that k again by definition it's the rate of change of the unit tangent vector with respect to the arc length. will be dt dt divided by ds dt 
like so. But we can simplify it quite a bit, isn't it? The SDT is what? I'm sorry? R prime. Right. So, uh, so notice that the SDT is the magnitude of R prime. So therefore, we have the following result. We're going to say that K, and now K, the, uh, the uh, curvature is a function of T. Because what we do have is now T prime of T. That will be on top, and uh, the, the denominator will be R prime of T, and we need to take the magnitude. So we have it's really a magnitude of one vector, t prime is a vector, so divide by the magnitude of another vector. So we can write it like that, or we can write it as uh, two separate. But I think uh, mathematically it would be more correct to write magnitude of one divided by the other, like so. Uh, 